So last question. And and this one, like I, I think I've had this argument a bunch of times with uh, with my friends as well. Uh, the purple Dino Raptors jersey. Where do you guys stand on those? I am just glad that we're over that era, uh, performance wise and uh, uniform wise, and like I just hated that uh, uniform. To be very honest, um, I, yeah, not a big fan. I like it as an alternative once in a while. I don't. Like in an anniversary season, or maybe like some sort of uh, commemorating something. Like, let's say they brought back I don't know an Isaiah Thomas night. You did it that night. I'm okay with it. <laughs> um, I don't. <laughs> let's let's not do the Isaiah Thomas night. There are rumors that they <laughs> oh they're looking at redoing the logo again, which I don't understand why. I mean, they they've only had what they have for the past five or six years, and I think it. What they have now looks really good, but I like it as an alternative. I don't. It's kind of to me. It's kind of like the powder blue jays. Like, don't overdo it. A one-off is fine. Uh, if they want, if they can, people like them and they're selling them with uh, current day player like jersey names like a Lowry or a Siakam, that's fine. But if, don't don't love them the way others do. Yeah, I, I don't either. I uh, never liked them, hated them as a kid, never wanted them as a kid. I was really happy when they changed uh, when they changed the jerseys uh, Vince Carter's second season. Uh, the only reason I think anybody looks at them fondly at all, I think, is because of that one year that Vince Carter had in them. But, I mean, those were, those were awful back then. They're awful today. I know people probably disagree with me, um, but it's funny. I was watching... Uh, the Grizzlies game the other day, and uh, the Grizzlies were wearing the old Vancouver Grizzlies jerseys. Um, I don't know what it is, but I hated those when I was a kid too. And now they they actually look really good. Those I love. Those look great. I hope. I actually will. I'll say the Raptors are playing the Grizzlies this weekend. It would be cool to see. That will be a game where it's cool to see like the classic purple jerseys versus the classic Grizzlies. That kind of occasion would be uh, pretty cool. And yeah, I think the Grizzlies, the one thing the Grizzlies have done better than the Raptors was their jersey. Yeah, and, and, and that's about it. I think it's easy to embrace the bad times now once you've gotten to good times. I know Golden State, for example, they went back to their, they've worn like mid-2000s jerseys. Uh, some Like the uh, 20, 2006 We Believe team, they started wearing those on occasion again. And though some of those teams were Terrible. They had that one team that got the eighth seed and upset Dallas in the first round. But outside of that, in the 2000s, they were awful. But they started yeah. racing those ones again. So I guess it's almost like a rite of passage. Like, okay, we've now made our – we're now an elite team, considered elite. We've won a championship. Now we can go back and face our bad history and not try to hide from it. Yeah, I think the important thing there, like you're right, is once you cross that hur- hur- hurdle, right? Like that, you know, you've made it. Like for Raptors, it's a lot easier to go back to those, just like Golden State. Uh, yeah, once you're successful, it's easier to face your failures in the past. Rather, you know, when you're year in year out a bad team, uh, you, you really can't bring back another, you know, jersey from a bad year, right? So it's like, what are you trying to show?